All right guys, so I'm inside the 26 foot Tioga and I wanted to to show you what is working and what's not working. Um, the problem with the engine is that there are some fluid leaks. So we've got transmission fluid and brake fluid. Um, and so I just took it to Oklahoma and back. The engine was great. I just had to watch those fluids. You'll want to get that looked at whenever you can. Um, a lot of new stuff on this coach. There's uh, new brakes, new tires, uh, a new carburetor, uh, new fuel lines, new brake lines, new fuel filter. And it's only got, what, 53,000? Oh, 56,350. And I just fired it up. It fired up quick. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, so you've got sleeping for up here. Uh, this turns into a bed. You can sleep here. Under here is the fuel pump and your water storage. Um, that's a water tank. I did put in a new uh, battery and I put in a new fuel uh, water intake so you can hook it up to a water hose and get good water pressure. Um, I'm not going to show that off. There's no water in the lines right now because it is friggin' cold. Uh, the water heater works really well. It's hot on demand. Your uh, gas stove works great. I don't. I didn't bring a lighter in here with me, but you can hear it. That's working great. I haven't tried the oven, so I, I can't speak to the oven. Uh, the heat is running right now, and it is working great. Boy, that feels good. Uh, the bed is a weird shape, so we just have some pads here. You're welcome to them if you decide you want them. Um, the shower works great. The um, toilet had a leak of fresh water through the pedals so we just started I, I disconnected from the water and we were just using the shower head which worked great and this thing isn't quite firmly attached um oh, I wasn't able to figure out what's going on there but you might be able to do a better job than I uh, fridge works great um, I installed a couple of new fans those work great we also installed new uh, some lights here and there. All of the original lights work great. And um, the air conditioner works great. I can't do that and the heat at the same time. And oh, here are some of the new lights I put in. Working great. Um, the generator outside, uh, I'll walk you around the coach. But let me fire this up for you just so you can hear. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so we're gonna fire it up. It's uh, once it's warm, man, it, it goes great. All right, so let me walk you around real quick. So it's an old motorhome, it's like 40 years old. Uh, there's some delamination. There were some leaks, so that could use a you could use a little bit of attention there. But there's a new roof on there too, which is cool. And we've been through a few rains now, and it uh, leaked a little bit in one of the windows, but not the roof. Uh, like I mentioned, here is the new water in inlet, and oh, um. The ladder's a little bit shaky. I've been meaning to put some new screws on here. Oh, I also picked up a re um, reverse camera, but I haven't installed it. Uh, one of the reverse lights is out. Um, the generator, when I first bought it, the owner showed me how to jump it, and I haven't been able to jump it since. So, but it was working at that time, and it's freaking cold out here. Um, we've got six new tires all around. And they have maybe what five or six hundred miles on them. Um, there's your propane tank. It holds 14 gallons, but you want to only keep about 12 in there at a time. And I went through this just to make sure it was safe. And I sniffed. Well, I have a gas sniffer, and we didn't have any gas leaks. And um, right now, again, the heater is working. Okay, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video. If you needed anything specifically, I'm gonna turn this off. Um, if you need any specifics or want me to go over anything, please let me know. We've got seatbelts here in these chairs, seatbelts there. So we've got two, four, and then two at the front, six seatbelts. 
and lots of sleeping space so oh I did the roof with carpet you can, you can see there's a little bit you you will need to make do some touch-ups uh, <laughs> and uh, if you don't like the carpet you could easily take those down they're just held in with staples and uh, do whatever you wanted but there you go guys warts and all please uh, let me know if you have any questions and we're selling it just because we want to get something smaller honestly this thing is got a lot of space in it but uh we've got we're a small family and we just don't need all this rv it's been a great first rv for us but we're ready for something a little smaller and hopefully this will fit you all right thanks so much and just message me if you have any questions